Hello everyone. So far with the supersonic air launch concepts that I've been trying out, I've only been trying to get crew to orbit, not cargo. But already Dave, who had suggested the whole deal in the first place, wants me to see what kind of cargo capacity I can get to orbit. And so we're starting off with the Asuka space plane with the Skylon engines, the Sabre engines and I have converted it to a cargo version. So we're not using the Sakura space plane anymore because that's for crew. And instead we are going with the Mini Star. The Mini Star was used with the Orion carrier plane to get cargo to orbit. And in that case it gets 40 tons or more to orbit. 45 is usually the target. Uh, but that is with a larger carrier plane and that carrier plane gets it to about 4,000 meters per second. So it only has to do 4,000 meters per second on its own. Uh, in this case, the air-breathing Asuka spacecraft is only going to be able to, or not really a spacecraft in this case, aircraft, is only going to be able to get us to Mach 5. So that's about 1,500 meters per second, which means that the goal for the mini star is to add another 6,500 meters per second. And so that's what you see here. Doing that, it can only carry about six tons. That's the payload I've got in the fairing. It's just a tank of gas as usual. So it can't do as much as the Orion carrier plane version can do. The Orion carrier plane version though is nearly five times heavier on liftoff and it's lifting off vertically rather than from a runway. It's still the fact that the Orion carrier plane version would be beneficial, but anyway, uh, let's just go with this and see how it goes. Maybe we can bump up the six tons to a higher amount once we see how everything shakes up, but maybe not. Also, the mini star might not be the optimal thing for this. Uh, we could have something heavier, actually. Uh, we've underfueled the scram spike. As I've said in the previous video, well, one of the previous videos, I forget which one, uh, really, the space plane can be even larger than the carrier plane given the setup that we have right now and that causes all sorts of problems as far as how do we arrange that exactly but we'll set that aside for now we're gonna be taking off from the shuttle landing facility hopefully let me make sure of that all right there is there it is the contraption on the runway Pile up Atmospheric autopilot on and go. Sliding backwards initially. Oh, I haven't put the body flap on this one. Uh, that's probably okay. Bit of a bump there. Okay, should be easy to take off in this case actually. The problem with putting more on is uh, we start extending far out in front of the nose of the Asuka spacecraft, or Asuka aircraft in this case. And that's not great. If we try to make the plane longer, its wings starts, uh, start clipping into the vertical stabilizers. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's a bit complicated. I could probably reduce the hydrogen load even more. But the only net effect of that would be to get us to go faster with the Saber engines, and we can't go too fast. That's the only net effect unless we can make the thing on top bigger. Okay, switching to Smart ASS at this point. Mach 5. Well, if it can bring us higher, that would be good. My expectation is that 28 kilometers is the limit. And it looks like 5 point, Mach 5.2 is the limit. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Igniting the rocket engines. And separation. And we continue. 
Getting rid of the fairings. Oh, 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 okay. Not a good time to get rid of the fairings. All right, we are going to also reduce the load in the Asuka so that maybe we can go faster than Mach 5.2. Well, the problem there was that I'm so used to separating the fairings of the Mini Star when we separate from the carrier plane that I did it even though we were at a lower altitude than we should be separating the fairings at. We need to be much higher up. So that was the flaw there. Okay, here we go again. Okay, a little bit squirrely on the wheels. Let's go up. Mach 2. Okay, switching to Smart ASS. Past Mach 5. Acceleration seems better. That probably won't get us too much extra. The aerodynamic drag is just potent. I mean, the drag is 1,800 kilonewtons right now. And then each engine right now is producing 1,000. <laughs> so, that's the situation. That's why we can't accelerate. But we are going a little bit faster than last time. And that's thanks to dumping some of the fuel so we're lighter. I am making sure it has enough to get back home, but I, I think I still have overdone it here. We'll try to get to Mach 5.3. But I don't really want to go down. 1600 meters per second sounds good too. Okay, well now we're decelerating because I wanted to pitch up more. So, alright. Rocket engines. Separation. Ooh, it's always unnerving. It's okay on the Delta V right now. We will see eventually. Might want to ascend faster. I don't know what the best trajectory is. Right now we're not going to make it to orbit. This lower phase took too much out of us. Well, let me try and thrall down and get rid of the fairings. It's pretty low still, but... We can. It's not going to help enough though. Alright, so we're about 300 short of orbit, 300 meters per second, but we would also want this to be able to come back down, so that's another 200 that we want. So, call it 500. And I don't think we need to cut down the payload, we just need to find a way to get more fuel into it. We need a larger mini star. I don't know if I have a larger model just, you know, right from the get-go. Got the mini star on the Mars star lander, that's totally different. Really the only way to do it is to have some extra fuel pods or something. We'll just have the fuel pods represent the intended eventual expansion and then we'll have to build that into the body. 
I mean, we could just make the body a little bit wider and that would be more than what we have here. Maybe... Oh, I'll be conservative and we'll have the tanks be the default tanks, which are heavier. Okay, well that also adds a little bit of drag, but it's technically behind the fairing, so, you know. Anyway, this looks awkward and horrible, but it's just standing in for an expansion of the actual stage, so we're going to accept it for now. How much is that expansion? Oh, about 20 tons. The stage right now, the fuel mass is 130 tons almost, so uh, about 15%, something like that. Essentially, the new fuel that we've got there is replacing some... Actually, we should take more out of the Asulon. We can do that. We're not using anywhere near that much. Okay. So, throttle up. The fly-by-wire is on. And go. Still just six tons though, as the payload. Whoa, wiggly. Okay, didn't want all those tags. We are past Mach 1 here. That's quite a climb to get past Mach 1 at, but these are powerful engines. Okay, well, we are approaching the separation speeds, but not the separation height yet. Okay, Mach 5.2, we'll try and climb a little bit more. Okay, we will go. A little bit violent to the poor Asuka there. Okay, uh, temporarily throttling down for fairing set. Throttling back up. It's tight. Okay, we didn't quite make it, but we're awfully close. Um, yeah, but... Do I want to try this again with some more refinement or adding more fuel? I don't think so, because we talk about six tons, and that's below what I need to have. If I'm going to bring cargo to orbit, I need much more than that. So we're going to have to have a very different solution, not the mini star on top of the well, what is now the Asuka air-breathing plane. <laughs> so, which in and of itself is not great to, de uh, to demote the Asuka space plane like that. But anyway, we can, we can explore other options. One thing is the Asuka is not being fully utilized. We're not using all the volume in it, so it doesn't need to be that big. But it's also pretty well shaped for carrying this on top of it. If it if it's smaller, this is all gonna be very awkward. So the question then it needs a very special shape to carry this, maybe one that wraps around it and hangs on top and then this will drop down from it. But that has to be capable of going supersonic. So it's it's a whole business to we uh, the best thing to do is to design just one thing that's very 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 specific for this purpose and is not two different vehicles. But even then, I don't know if it's going to get the payload capacity to something that I want. So we'll see whether I have some spark of inspiration or go into Blender and decide to carve something out. It's possible, but at least I have some data now. 
and we'll see where that takes me. So, well, I, I don't think this is the screenshot image, but I'll leave you with it. So, yeah, the, not the thumbnail image, I mean. So with that, and this about to meet its demise, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.